Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty cool news where Sony has now officially today announced some brand new products. And although I'm gonna kinda kinda say, not really the biggest fan my own personal, like in my own personal taste. If you guys want to give your thoughts and comments down below, feel free to. But when it comes to this one, we actually have a brand new PlayStation blog now announcing some brand new things you guys can go and buy, the release dates, and all that other good stuff. And as well, we also have some pretty good news when it comes to the upcoming Spider-Man game. You know, the next one, we're going to go touch on that a little bit later on throughout the video too, because that is making me pretty, pretty hyped just in general. So, new games cool, new hardware cool, and a bunch of other cool stuff as well, and a big warning for a game I probably would never want to recommend you guys buying to as well. So, a lot of stuff to talk about throughout this video, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5. We also have the PlayStation 5 giveaway. We also have the Twitter and Twitch streams down below, Target links and Amazon links, and let's dive into the video. So, as I mentioned, we actually have some brand new stuff that's coming out. It does kind of seem like Sony and PlayStation usually like to go and do like the trifecta method as of right this second. So if you see you have a pink console, they want to make sure you have a pink controller, pink headset. So you have the black console, you want to have a black controller, black headset. So you want to go for like the pure white, how we have right now with like the default one. Same exact format. And it does kind of seem like they're going to follow this up again with the brand new gray camouflage collections now been officially announced. So with this, as of today, the gray camouflage collection joins the PlayStation 5 accessories lineup now officially starting this fall. So first impressions, be honest, just type it down below. Let me know. I want. I need to hear. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I don't think I kind of like it. That's just me, though. I think the controller looks sick. Like, I think if I had, like, if I had one of the three to choose from, I think I'd go with the controller. Like, I think that design looks a lot nicer. It kind of fits. Like, you know, I can I could roll with it. It's nice. Although, I might lose it a lot. Is that a good joke? <laughs> the headset, I don't think the headset looks that good. It just doesn't have, like, a good texture on the pictures that they're showing. It kind of almost looks like it's, like a like, a white headset. That's just been dirty, you know, just over time, like it's gotten like rusted and degraded or whatever. I think the controller looks good. Although I also kind of wish the colors were a little bit more popping. I understand the idea and concept of camouflage is, you know, you want it to blend, you want like not to pop, obviously. But like at least I would like kind of like I like the, it's more of the design. I don't know. Like I'm on the. Eh. I do think the console too as well. I don't think the console skin looks that good. Give me your thoughts. I've never really been a big camo fan. I know some people out there like it. Maybe like you're a hunter. Maybe like whatever. Uh, let me know if you guys like it off your initial thoughts. I think controller's cool. Headset, mm, no. I think the console, it's like a middle. It's not too, too bad. I think it could be a little bit better, though. Uh, or could add a better design. Like, I feel like it's almost too simplistic, for lack of better terms. So this is the first look at the DualSense wireless controller. PS5 console covers, and the Pulse 3D wireless headset, all in the brand new style. So bringing a fresh, unique aesthetic into play with the new gray camouflage collection coming to the PS5 family of accessories. Adding to the previously released Galaxy-inspired color lineup, the gray camouflage collection features a matching set of accessories with a DualSense wireless controller. PS5 console covers for both the PS5 with the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive and the PS5 Digital Edition and Pulse 3D wireless headset. So to go play out the video itself, just to give you guys the quick rundown on it all, uh, as you guys can kind of see. Once again, I'm not sure how I really feel about it. I think even close up here, controller looks nice. I do like the little uh, texture and details. If they do one more quick zoom, and I'll pause it on that one. Maybe even on the console itself, you guys can see. I don't know. I'm very, very torn still. Very, very torn. So like I did say, I did like the, um, like if you guys kind of like see the actual little PlayStation logos in here, it might be hard to see on a YouTube video. Unless I get it. There we go. There's a good pause right there. Like, I do think this looks cool. I mean, if it was just a pure default camouflage, I don't know. I'd be a little bit on the apprehensive side. I don't know. But I do like the idea of all the triangle square circles and all of that. Like, I think it's cool. Like, I mean, there's potential. I, I do like there's at least something unique and something different. They also do, it seems like I have this on the headsets too as well. On all this, like, I guess, like, slightly middle tan white colors, whatever you just want to go say. You can see the details pretty well here. Like, I mean, it's cool. Like, it at least has some effort into it. But like I've mentioned before, I'm just not really a big camouflage type of guy. I don't know. Like, it depends on the person. It's just not really me. Uh, but I think it looks cool. I think there's, like, some potential over here. So the PlayStation design team reimagined our camouflage pattern to reflect 
a fresher, more contemporary feel. If you look closely, you'll notice that the iconic PlayStation shapes have been subtly incorporated into the pattern. The Grey Camouflage collection will be available starting this fall, with pre-orders beginning December 15th. The DualSense wireless controller and PS5 console covers will launch globally on October 4th, uh, 14th, followed by the launch of the Pulse 3D wireless headset in December. It's also kind of weird they're not all releasing it all at once. The exact launch dates for the collection may vary by location, so be sure to go check your local retailer too as well. So here's just a few little other, other design photos. So basically, this is for the direct.playstation.com or PlayStation Direct in general. In the US, UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg, a number of these new products will be available via early access for direct.playstation.com customers. Starting officially on October 14th, while supplies last, the DualSense wireless controller in gray camouflage will be available on the direct.playstation.com. It will be offered at other participating retailers, so this is more on, like, let's say, Target, Amazon, Best Buy, or if you guys are in other locations in the UK, maybe like, you know, Game On or, you know, whatever, like whatever it might be. So keep that in mind, too, on October 28th. So on October 14th, while supplies last two as well, they'll be available exclusively on the Direct.PlayStation Store in these locations. So basically stay tuned to the PlayStation Direct for more information. Now, as I've mentioned a few different times, like I don't think they never really look that bad per se. Like all them put together, like it doesn't look bad. Like I'm kind of harping on it a little bit a lot. If I really had a pick though, I do think the controller probably looks the best. Like even like even this design right here. This looks cool. I think it actually looks kind of cool. But as well, don't forget, we also do have the Pro Controllers coming out in the near future as well, which rises to my next question. I'll be very kind of curious to see if these, like the upcoming Pro Controllers, if they as well will also go and have different types of covers and like camouflage, pink, blue, red, green, cyan, whatever it may be in the future. Very, very curious on all of that. So we have a lot of good things kind of coming out over here. So keep that in mind. This is all brand new and officially announced. I also want to give you guys a little bit of a highlight as well for some really cool Spider-Man news. So we actually now have this over here. Uh, we're now seeing some information in regards to the next upcoming Spider-Man 2 game, which I'm extremely hyped up for. Stay over here from Amelia. Spider-Man 2 for PS5 is exceeding expectations for Marvel's Higher ups. Fluidity and visual punch is striking, according to an employee of Marvel. Another employee thought they were watching a cutscene gameplay to be shown soon. Now, that's awesome, because if you if we're waiting for hype games and like really big games like this, we want to make sure the games are good. We want to make sure that they're like great. And the fact that these employees can't even tell the difference between it just being the normal visual game going on versus a cutscene. Now, that's what we like to hear for next-gen gaming, as we like to go and see in CGI and general gaming flow as well. I gotta love this. I love seeing this. And as well, they're also trying to push for gameplay to be shown soon, as you guys kind of know, even from, like, you know, Ragnarok, is that when we kind of have a chance to see the game soon, we can see gameplay, it kind of goes to show that that's what the real game is starting to look like. So, like, that's like when the game starts to become real. Anyone can have a really cool trailer or a cool CGI trailer, or whatever it might be, but we need to see the actual walking gameplay to be able to go be pre and pretty impressed with it. And, well, if everyone else in Marvel are saying it's going better, it's doing even better, and Spider-Man, both uh, Miles Morales and the normal Spider-Man, were phenomenal for its time, like, very, very good games. If we're expecting Spider-Man 2 to top that even more, you guys can bet I'd be so excited. You guys have literally no idea. Like, I'm super, super hyped with that. So, I am hyped. I'm, I just can't wait to play this, dude. I can't wait to play this game so bad. And as well, we also have some interesting news over here in regards to the one game I'd probably encourage you guys to maybe not go and check it out too, too, too much is on the Bio, um, Bio Hunt, or whatever that game is called. I played this game before, and it's coming out actually very, very, very soon. Uh, it was like Bio Hunt, whatever it was called. I, I can't even remember the name of it. I fully beat the entire game. Now, that's actually been getting kind of hyped up as of right this second for proper releases. Uh, so I'm just going to let you guys know. Uh, oh, it's Biomune over there. Try your best to kind of maybe avoid that one. I keep on seeing that in pictures of like Walmart on the shelves, Target, Best Buy, whatever. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't really worth buying beating and or playing and as like an open world like RPG so think like a Skyrim type game Fallout type game like you kind of want that 
So I don't know. It's definitely a little bit on the uh, weirder vibe, at least in my opinion. We also do have a lot more gaming news, which we'll cover up in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that. But I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the PS5 giveaway. Twitter and Twitch room down below. Target links down below. Amazon links down below. I appreciate you guys all so much for existing. Love you guys.